In the last video, we studied lists. In a list, we added data like this, with elements accessed by their index position. In this video, we are studying map data. A map looks like this. First, use the map keyword. Values are accessed using their keys. These are the keys. These are the values. Each value in a map is associated with a unique key. Here, we specify the data type used for keys, which is a string in this case. The value data type is also a string here. This is the map name. Then we start a small project to study map data. Create a new Flutter project and include a central widget in the body. Next, create a new Flutter file for displaying map data. Name the file studentscores.dart. Create a stateless widget called student scores. Then, we declare a map. The keys will be of type string, and the values will be of type int. The variable name is student scores. We include the student name as the key and the score as the value. Add additional data separated by commas. This is how we declare map data. Then, return a scaffold inside the build function. Next, create an app bar for displaying the title text. Finally, we add a list view in the body, which we studied earlier. Inside the list view, we use the children attribute. Use the map variable student scores to fetch the data, studentscores.entries.map. The list view is populated using the entries property of the map, which returns an iterable of key value pairs, map entry.
We map each map entry to a list tile widget, displaying the student name as the title and the score as the subtitle. Return the list tile widget. Set an icon as the leading element. Set the key, the student name, as the title. Display the score in the subtitle. Next, open main.dart and include the student scores.dart file. Call the student scores widget inside the center widget. Then run the app. The map data is displayed. Thank you for watching.